Neil Oliver is tonight's outsider. And the UK's determined but deranged march to net zero has been shifted up a gear as London's failed mayor, Sadiq Khan, plans to expand his hated ultra-low emission zone beyond central London and into the home counties. Unfortunately for Brits, Khan's climate scheme, which charges drivers whose vehicles are too old or polluting, has already had a devastating impact on some long-standing businesses with the boss of the iconic furniture store, Heels, warning that the ULEZ obsession has turned streets into a ghost town. And as Khan's ULEZ madness creeps further outside London, the dystopian nightmare of 15-minute cities threatens to become a national reality. So, Neil Oliver, we've got to be so wary about what's to come because Khan, he knows how unpopular this is, but he doesn't care. I know it's the wrath of Khan... Uh, sometimes it feels, I don't know, like, like, like efforts like Sadiq Khan's, his mission is to run London down, uh, to annoy Londoners, and I suppose ultimately even to see to the destruction of, of business in London. It's, it, it's hard to read it any other way. I say all the time, Dan, who do these people think they are? In people like Sadiq Khan and you know and the and the councillors in Oxford and the rest of it, and all across the piece, all these all these jumped up nabods just inviting themselves to interfere in every aspect of people's lives. Who do they think they are? And uh, net zero, it's all it's all part of that bigger picture. You know the the fifteen minute ghettos, the you know the ULEZ schemes like that of uh, Sadiq Khan's. Uh, it, it's a suicide note. And it's being written on behalf of millions, if not billions, of people who will die as a direct result. Uh, there's just no two ways about it. At least 80% of the energy that, that is consumed in the world comes from fossil fuels. And yet we are being coerced away from fossil fuels. Renewables don't offer a, a, an alternative, not at all. Nuclear is out as well because the Greens don't like nuclear. We need more energy, Dan, not less. Net zero is absolutely taking the population, the civilization of planet Earth, the civilizations of planet Earth backwards. You know, some, I don't know, I, I read somewhere, something like three billion people alive today use less electricity, have, have access to less electricity than that that we depend upon to, requ to run a modern fridge freezer. You know, and if people don't have access if people don't have access to cheap, reliable, available energy, they live miserable lives. You deny yeah. the energy and the fertilizers and everything else that comes from fossil fuels that are the target of, of net zero, people will simply die. People will die of starvation. People Indeed. Will die. Climate change. Climate, and, and, climate. But yet Khan will say, oh, no, you're going to die of pollution. That's been proven to be a total lie, a fallacy. He doesn't care. But the issue that so many of us have, Neil, is that when it comes to the march to net zero, when it comes to you, Liz, it feels like there's almost a one-party state. Uh, there's very little alternative, which is why you see people up and down the country resorting to civil disobedience over this stuff. I, you, I don't understand why people believe, b behave. I, I really don't. I don't live in London, uh, but I don't really understand why uh, why uh, 10 million Londoners just don't get in their cars and drive in and 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 not pay <laughs> not pay the fines. I, I just because if everybody acted, if everybody acted together, just peaceful civil disobedience then that, that collective group should not be broken. You know, they're going to put everybody in, in ULES jail. I, I don't understand why people can, are continuing to put up with this nonsense. People are just being coerced into smaller, colder, hungrier lives. There is no other outcome from net zero than millions, billions of people dying. You, you know, they talk about the, the, the fear about the climate changing. Climate changes, that is without a shadow of a doubt. That's what climate is actually, that is climate, it, it's change. But the, the, it, as, it, as it changes, we need more energy. We need, we, we need access to more cheap, available, reliable energy, because that is what will enable the poorest billions to cope. It, it, on every continent, it's cold that kills people, not heat. By, by a huge margin, fossil fuels keep people warm in the cold. 
air conditioning keeps people cool when it's hot. A, a loss of life to extreme weather has gone down by 90 odd percent because we have had the energy to cope mm. in the past century. And that energy has come from fossil fuels. There won't be a tree left on Earth. If people have nothing to rely upon for heat and cooking, but, but wood, there won't be a tree left. It's insanity. It is a suicide note for the world. And the sooner people act together collectively to push back against these petty dictators, the better. Yeah, petty dictator. What a perfect description of Sadiq Khan, the failed London mayor, Neil Oliver. So great to speak with Neil back. Six o'clock.